Hey guys, I'm gonna today I'm going to be continuing my scratch tutorial series and this episode Mario is what we're making. Just the little Mario walking back and forth. And I'm actually gonna add an extra step in here. Take this if block and then do this if and block. Yeah, I'm not blocked. This may seem complicated right now, but it's not too complicated. This is just a very simple procedure that makes your ga game look a lot more natural. And okay, so I think I'll start with the very beginning. Okay, see first, which is grabbing these amazing pictures now there's a website uh this is my stuff it's called look up sprites resource dot com no well that's not the name of the website so yeah. you're gonna have to just search sprite dash sprite resource it gives you, a, and actually it gives you tons of sprites. See right here, spritersresource.com. So, on this website, you can find tons of sprites from the sprite sheets. So what you do is go on this, go on this website, and now I'm going to show you how you can get to your sheets. So what you do is you just select your console. I like to use the Game Boy Advance. So you select the console that the game is on. And then you can pick the letter of the alphabet that it starts with. And it shows you all your game. Then click the letter and it shows you all of the games for that console that start with that letter. So I got Super Mario Bros. Advance, the Super Mario Bros. 3 one. So then when you're done with that, you can open any photo editing thing you want. You could use GIMP. But for this project, since I wanted to show that you don't need to even download anything, I decided to use Paint. So hit File, Open. And then just select one of your spreadsheets. Here you go. And there you go. So then you just find your sprite that you want to use. Just pick a random one. Let's say this little guy. And you use a select tool to select him. Hit copy. And then zoom out. And reduce the size to one by one pixels. And then hit paste. Then you can save as. So, then once you have it, that then once you save the file, you can go back into Scratch and import it into your sprite. Now, make sure it's facing right, because if not, then make sure your images are facing right or the code won't work. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to build this code. So, first you go to this events tab, drag out one flag, is clicked. Then hit go to zero, x0, zero, y100. Because we're not going to have Mario move at all. We're going to have the background move. Okay, so then... Now look at this, switch, go to looks, and take switch costume, and set it to Mario. Then you make a forever loop. In it, put an if block first. Then, go to sensing, hit key space pressed, put it there, and change it to right arrow. And then put point and direction 90 degrees. Hit next costume and wait 0 
seconds. Now, right click this and hit duplicate. This one set to left arrow and change this to negative 90. So now, that code will make him run. Now, finally, duplicate this box. Take out everything there. See the switch costume to Mario block? Duplicate that part on. Take away the forever block and put it in. Then, go to operators. Put a not block there. An and block there. Copy this right arrow one. And then copy the, and then bring in the left one. And then put that in there. And that is how you run. And that is how you make this. I'm just going to let you look at this for a while so you can understand the concept. See, later we're going to make a, sh a floor. And the floor, and the floor, and everything else on screen is scrolling, not you. That way, your character, that way it looks like your character is walking across and the camera that's recording him or whatever is moving. So... Like, that's how actual Mario games work. So, I guess that's it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Remember to be a duck. Also, date a banana. I really wanted to tell someone that. I don't know. Yeah. Remember to date a banana, and goodbye.